Hi, I'm Jenna Neal. Welcome to my vlog. I hope you... Hi, I'm Jenna Neal. Welcome to my vlog. Oh my goodness, really, really, room tour, yay. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about me because I'm bored and Wings are ready. dinner's ready. And well, we're not gonna talk about me. Yes, we are. We're, okay, so today we're gonna talk about me and I'm going to show you what I do to stay inspired and keep all my creepy things in one place and use that in photographs and pictures to motivate me to write books. So I hope you stay tuned, I hope you enjoy, and yay, let's get started. First, though, I can't do this barefoot. Yay, I'm wearing boots. Yay, I have my boots on. I feel more productive when I wear shoes. So, even though I'm not going anywhere this weekend, I thought it would be a good idea. We'll see. Boots. I got my boots on. I'm ready. Ready to be creative. We'll see if it works. I don't know. Just me trying to get in the mood. So, I think I need something. Probably matcha. I'm trying this new thing. We'll see. I heard that if you drink hot water, it like stimulates your brain. Although, I just really don't want to drink hot water. So, we're going to do matcha today. So hope you liked my intro. It's something different that I thought I'd try. I don't know. I, there are so many videos on YouTube these days are about how to make it big on YouTube, but they're not doing anything but saying how to make it big on YouTube. So it's really strange. So I'm just trying everything and seeing if I like it. Let me know if you think it works or not, but let me know. I don't know if that works. Yay! Okay, so today I'm going to take Pinterest and show you how I use my boards to inspire me to write. I've been struggling with some inspiration. Maybe it's writer's block or maybe it's anxiety because I can't go anywhere. I'm stuck in my house. I feel like I need to like get up close or something. So my vlog is more of me venting and then showing you what I do to help myself and me do better. And so I'm not trying to come off as preachy, so I don't really like the up close and in your face head discussions because I feel like that's so informal and not really helpful because I'm not really trying to preach to you guys. I don't really care if you follow my methods. I'm just putting it out there to remind myself and because I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored inside my house when on days where I don't have to work, I could be going to, I don't even care where. I just want to go somewhere. Starbucks kicked me out. Yep, I know I mentioned that a lot, but whatever. I'm still butthurt over it. Anyways, mm, yep. All right, there is a lot of information out there about writer's block and doing things when you feel inspired. There's no one way to do writing a book. I'm sorry, there's not. So the, the formulas out there, while they work, they need to be adapted to your own style. So I'm trying everything to see what works for me and what I like best. And hopefully you learn from my crazy and don't do my mistakes or maybe you like my mistakes, I don't know. So I'm gonna grab a tablet and then we're gonna look at my Pinterest boards. Now let's see if I can find it. Hopefully it's charged, oh my God, hopefully it's charged. We're doing this. Apparently we're not doing this because I have no idea where my iPad is. Ooh, maybe it's in there. But, ah, that's a good place for it in my writer's bag, yes. Yay, we're gonna be using our iPad to go on Pinterest 
This is crazy. Keeping the keeping the camera moving and showing you what I'm doing while doing it takes like triple the time, but it's kind of fun and a weird way to look at things, which hopefully helped me in my point of view for my characters. Hmm. Didn't think about that, did I? Oh, don't mind the crazy. There's my Harry Potter for the day. Yeah. Here we go. So here is my Pinterest board. Jenna Neal author is my Pinterest name. No idea. I have 2.3 thousand monthly viewers, so 2,300 of you view Pinterest versus loyal 23 subscribers. Thank you so much. Obviously, I have a lot more interest on Pinterest because I have fancy cool pictures. But here's my site. Here's my picture. Me with red hair. There is my featured boards. So I have featured boards that I basically use on a regular basis when we're going to look at writing. The featured boards you can set up any way you want to have any number of boards on here. Most of them are about what I'm using while I'm writing at the time. So let's take a look at these boards. First, we're going to look at underground worlds and what that even means. So in my current novel, I have a world built on top of a world, built on top of another world, and one of the worlds is underground. So I needed some kind of way to explain what underground meant for me. And seeing as I've never been to a society or a world that is underground, I needed help. So I started looking online and coming up with these fabulous ideas. This one right here is a tunnel that I have a scene where they get trapped in a tunnel like this and so I thought what an excellent way to describe it. I can see it and then therefore I can describe it, what it means for me. This has helped me in so many ways looking at, so what does my underground world look like? Are there stairs? Are there domed arches? I don't know. I didn't know anything when I first started building this world. What what does it mean for me? And what, what do I want in my underground world? Do I want it very lit? Or is my world really dark? I couldn't decide. I really like this one. So I'm going to save it in my underground worlds. These are all of my boards so I can organize it however I want. It's pretty fun. This can be a rabbit hole of information, so you have to be careful in how long you're on these sites because it can be overwhelming and have you have too much. So I really like the dystopian look. I use this one a lot, transitioning between the elements within my world and going from clean environment to a really dilapidated and dirty environment. This helped me describe it so much and to actually be able to understand what it would feel like to be underground or be in a world where it's gross. Um, so I use this one a lot. I love this one. So I like this circular aspect of the tunnels and I use a lot of tunnels in my world but I needed to shift between what is dark. So understanding where light hits when you're underground is something that you don't really think about when you're in the moment but it is critical so is my world dark or am I in a moment where the light is super bright and I can see everything happening it, it the feel of it needs to be there for the reader but I can't necessarily just turn on the light and make it look different like I can in my room so I use these pictures to help me figure out what I want to do inside my book which is pretty fun I really like this one. So we talk a lot about it, underground areas and when you think about underground, you don't think about how do people breathe underground? What would a ventilation system look like underground in your world? I mean, it could look from anything like this where there's dirt and rocks and just a bunch of tubes and pipes or it could look more sophisticated where you don't even notice the ventilation system. I needed to really come up with something that would help me to figure out what my tunnels and what my world look like. So I like going to these different pictures and once you pick one, it kind of escalates to another. So this may not be my underground world in this picture right here. However, I have an obsession with stairs. So I would definitely put this, oh, I love this one. So I would definitely pin this one to stairs of all kind and then I can go back to it when I need it. So going back, oh, don't they look so beautiful? Oh my gosh, I could, oh, sorry, I found another one that I really like. I love this picture. So putting it in my stairs 
of all if stairs if all kinds yeah i totally made a mistake there I need to edit that so you like one picture and it links you to so many others like i really like this one. Oh, i love it and oh my gosh i love this in my world they wear masks because obviously they're living underground and there's dirt and debris and oh my god in this picture they're wearing masks like i love this picture definitely will have to use that one so these are other boards that i also use to write my book and while maybe they might not be one that i use on a regular basis it would be one that's really important like in character development i have a lot of characters i'm writing a five book series i have four books written I have 76 characters, what does that mean? How do I keep them all straight? I have notes beyond notes and character mapping, but what does evil look to you? And what does a struggle look like for you in your brain? I'm sure a struggle in everyone's brain is different. I love these photographs that play on color and just breaking that out. What does that mean for you? Just like happy and sad. Sometimes you're happy, sometimes you're sad. What does that mean for you and how does that affect you? I needed something and in a way to explain it to my readers because I can't just suddenly insert a random picture like she's overwhelmed and she's anxiety filled and stressed and whatever else I got going on. I can't just pop in this picture of strange, creepy overtaking of black ink or darkness on your body. I needed a way to show that. Oh, I love this one, we're adding this one too. Character development. I love people's creepy. The creepy of some people, just, I love it. Just like some people might like my random weird. You can see how you can get distracted and go on and on. So here's my breakdown of my characters. What they're going through. Is it a good versus evil? I associate this with their shiny and darkness all in one person. Does she have abilities? Do her, do her insides reflect something positive or negative? I have a way to explain that. The struggle in what she's feeling maybe it comes out of her body in some way or maybe it's just a way for me to be able to visualize what's happening inside her body with all of this chaos and this decay and debris so love 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 this oh my god see there's so many more you i could just keep pinning all day i love these and it makes it so easy. So if I ever want to go back, I don't have to remember the website. I can just go back to Pinterest and I look at my board and I have it easily filed in a modern way. I love it. And I can share my crazy with others. That's what's so unique about this website. That is really creepy. Yeah, not gonna lie. For one of my characters, their hair color is red. So I have a red board, everything red. I couldn't decide what exact color. I wanted to make her hair. Do I want to make it simple? Do I want to make it sharp? Do I want to make it light? Do I want to make it rainbow? Having these at my fingertips so whatever I'm feeling I can then click on it and be like, you know what? She has super vibrant hair. I just heart stopping red looks great. It says it right in the title. It gives me an idea of how to describe my character and visualize it with a single click and then therefore I'm off and running. Set pieces. My board on set pieces has 47 pins. That's way too many for your set pieces. But this gives me an idea of what I want to do. So the scenes within my book, a set piece is something that is like this one where it's a visual image. There's a reason why Hogwarts is iconic because everybody sees that image and it's something that we revisit through every book. So to have that and know what that looks like to me helps me. I love, I love these. I love this one. Oh my gosh, I have to keep this one as well. So I can just save it, find my board. There we go. Look, what does my world look like to me? And I can use this to then describe my set piece. So if you plan to have your book turn into a movie, while you're writing your book, you should prepare yourself for that opportunity. And what not a better way is to already know what your set piece is. I have repeated scenes that come back to this same tunnel. Here you go, now you're saving money across different sets within your movie, book, whichever, but also in your book, you can build 
upon that. So you don't have to have five pages of info dumping description and you can use that every time they come to the same place, describe it a little bit different with a little bit more or something else to give the familiarity, but also give it something new and fresh. This is my favorite, favorite board, especially because I'm determined to use these. Whatever it is, I love the smoke and I want to use it. I love the red, I love the teal determined in my book to have some reason to use smoke especially like this one i love this one this is probably my favorite favorite oh i love it oh my gosh i love how they integrate the colors i have to have this one too and where this board came from is i wanted some way to use it so this is my very first pin in reference to my book and i love how it's red it's different and how am I going to use that in my book? I have no idea, but we're going to get there. I'm determined to, to make it happen some way or another. Because when it's a movie, I feel like something burning in this color scheme or whatever would be so cool to see. And I just want to play with the smoke. Here are my set pieces. Here's my board. Hopefully this helps you figure out how Pinterest can work for you and how you can maybe set up your own boards to help motivate you to be inspired to write. I mean, there's everything from villain development, set pieces, interior set pieces. If you constantly have a room that you revisit, pin the layout, pin it. There you go, you got it. It's a touch of a finger. And then iconic costumes or fairy tale inspiration. I love the fairy tale inspiration. Costumes, I love costumes. Creepy things we love, and then you can do whatever you want, like faces. How do you explain faces every single time? Beautiful, fun, entertaining, and it helps you write. Here's me, I'm Jenna Neal, and I really hope you enjoyed looking through what I do when trying to get motivated to write and how when I'm stuck in a scene, how do I explain it? Pinterest, yay! Oh my gosh, so this video is kind of different kind of different maybe really a lot different than my normal but i hope you enjoyed i hope you like please hit that like button and if you're not subscribed hopefully you decide to subscribe join my crazy yay